Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Over the past year or so, I've read a lot of articles written by photographers explaining why they've switched to Capture One from Lightroom. In these articles, the photographers explain why they think Capture One is better than Lightroom. And to tell you the truth, I've been a bit frustrated reading these articles because most often the photographer isn't giving any qualitative or quantitative reason why Capture One is better. They're more or less selling Capture One, and it makes me question whether or not these are unbiased articles or paid posts. So with that said, I thought, I'm going to try to do this myself. I'm going to do a qualitative, maybe even quantitative analysis of the two applications. And I found that's pretty much impossible to do for two reasons. First of all, they use drastically different process engines. So it's impossible to do an apples to apples comparison to say highlight or shadow recovery between the two applications. Secondly, um, photography is very subjective. So what I may like, you may not like. So it's difficult to do that. So what I thought I'd do is i just try to show you some different common features you'd be doing between the two applications on the same image. I have this image here. It's a little bit, well, it's a lot underexposed, but there's a lot of dynamic range in the scene. So we have some very, very bright areas and some very, very dark areas. And here is the image opened in Capture One. And here's the same exact image opened in Lightroom. And Lightroom and Capture One do some sharpening and noise reduction to the raw file automatically. So what I did is I zeroed everything out. So in Lightroom, I have sharpening and noise reduction zeroed out. And in Capture One, I have noise reduction zeroed out and sharpening zeroed out as well. So we're at least playing from the same level playing field as much or as level as possible. So let's start out with highlight recovery. Um, I'm in Capture One, as you can see, and we'll go to a high dynamic range, and I'll just pull sh highlights all the way down. Now there is, again, a lot of dynamic range in this scene, and I'm going to zoom in on the light right here. So we'll just double click there and I'll zoom in a little more. I'll hit command plus on my keyboard. So we could just kind of get a lay of the land on just bringing one slider, the highlight slider, all the way down to minus 100. Now we'll go over to Lightroom and we'll do the same thing. We'll go over to the basic tab. We'll bring highlights all the way down to minus 100 and I'll zoom in on that light. And all right, kind of look there. And we kind of look over here, and I kind of move this accidentally. Um, they look pretty much identical. So in this regard, highlight recovery, as far as highlight recovery is moving one slider, it looks pretty much the same as you look between the two images. All right, so there's highlight recovery. Now let's go with shadow recovery. Again, we're in Capture One, and we're going to open shadows all the way up. And we'll just leave it like that for now. We'll go over here and we'll go to Lightroom and open shadows all the way up. And we'll look between the two images. They look similar at first glance. Let's zoom into a really dark area. If you remember here, let's reset shadows for a minute. It's really dark, let's say in this uh, bridge area there. So put that back up and we'll zoom in there. Move it over there. All right. Now zoom in over here. Hit Command Plus and... All right, now as we look at it, this is where it starts to get uh, quite a bit different. At first glance, when I first looked at this, I, whoa, wow, Capture One's way better. There's way less noise. Look at all the noise in Lightroom and look at the less noise in Capture One. Then I realized that the shadow recovery in Lightroom is more drastic. It's opening the shadows up way more. As you could see, when you look at it here, uh, we could see more detail back into the bricks on the back side of this wall and over here we can't there's no detail like if you hopefully you could see it in the video like look under the window here and you could see the detail and then over here you don't see any detail so if we go then and try to open up shadows even more let's go to the blacks over here you could see now that noise is there all right now it's not equal i didn't do it equal let's try to this is where the process engines are, are pretty much different. So you can see now, it's a little more equal. It's still hard to do it. It still looks different, but you can see that noise is there. So 
it's pretty much the same as noise. There seems to be greater detail, though, um, retained in the Lightroom image at this point. Not overall, let's say, necessarily when you're all said and done, but at this point. So um, highlight recovery, pretty much the same, but shadow recovery, um, Lightroom has more um, range in shadow recovery than Capture One. That doesn't mean it's better, it just has more range. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to process both images uh, the way I would process them, which should be hopefully nearly identical looking to one another as far as tone and sharpening and noise reduction is concerned. And I'll fast forward the video so you don't have to watch me do it. And then we'll compare them at that point. I'm not going to do anything with color yet. All right, so I'll do tone, noise reduction, and sharpening in both images. All right, I'm back. I processed the image. By the way, this is a Fujifilm RAW file. It's from the X-T4, and it was shot with a 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8 lens. I'll have all the gear info and the uh, camera settings in the description below this video. This is my Lightroom processing. I've done uh, tone, and I've done uh, sharpening and noise reduction, and I didn't do anything with color. And this is, of course, the Capture One, and I've done the same thing, settings here. Now, at first glance, they look pretty similar, I would say. Now, I'm going to zoom in to the Lightroom image. We'll zoom in right here on this um, kind of statue or whatever you want to call that, that carving. And let's look at the detail throughout the bridge area here of the Lightroom image. Then let's go over and do the same thing to the capture one image and if you look you could see more subtle detail in the capture one image compared to the Lightroom image hopefully you could see that and if we look at the Lightroom image I added a lot of clarity a lot of texture look at textures at plus 57 I was trying to get it to be equal and even in detail I have sharpening at 50 let's even like max out sharpening and you can see how we're getting all this noise in there now So I found if I bring sharpening up too much, I'm starting to get like that swirly noise. Here, let me show you again. So you can see, see that kind of swirly noise that, you know, obviously you don't want. So even around 60, I could see it in spots, not necessarily here, but in other parts of the image. So um, the highest I could go was like 50, 55 and um, to get it. But you could see there's definitely more detail in the Capture One image. Now, as far as sharpening with the Capture One image, what I did here was um, I went to the Clarity tab. I didn't do, actually, I didn't do anything with Clarity. Now, I thought I did, uh, but I did sharpening, and I have sharpening at 338. Uh, the default amount of sharpening, by the way, is 140. So I moved that up to like 338 ish, and everything else was at their defaults. So that's all I did was sharpening. So you could see that in my opinion, now um, I'm interested to hear your opinion in the comments below, let me know. But in my opinion, Capture One blew Lightroom out of the water as far as detail is concerned. Um, now when you're zoomed out, they look, oops, when you're zoomed out, they look pretty similar. But really, there is a definite difference here. There's that again, and there again on Lightroom. Um, so. Um, even there, now if I come in and I go to Clarity and I want to add some of that, that on top of it will make it even more uh, detailed, although I don't think I want to do that. But you get the idea. And now as far as color is concerned, uh, typically um, I tend to not, at least in Lightroom, go to Vibrance and Saturation too much. I prefer to go to the HSL tab. And I prefer to do what I want to do here. And typically, I try to get more tonal range by making the yellows brighter and the greens darker. So I go to Luminance tab and I go to Yellow and I'll make it brighter. And I'll go to the greens and make it darker. So I get more tonal variation there. And then I'll go to the blue and make that darker just to darken up the sky a little bit. And so if I do similar things over here in, um, in uh, Capture One, uh, with the color editor, I could bring yellows up. 
Let me go to rings down. So it's pretty similar, I would say, here. Maybe I could bring green down even a little more here. But you could see that it's pretty similar. I mean, there's not much difference as far as I adjust color. Now, there are, you know, other color adjustments. Um, you know, there's the, the vibrance and luminance or vibrance and saturation sliders. There's color wheels in Capture One and things, but this is the way I would do it. So overall, I think you have a little better shadow recovery in Lightroom, but you have a lot better detail in Capture One. Now Lightroom does have a newer feature that uh, will allow you to enhance details. It's under the top photo tab. And if I click on that, and it will come up with a preview. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to run this and this will create a DNG copy of this image with enhanced details. And then let's compare the enhanced details Lightroom version to that Capture One version. So I'm just going to do this and then I'll fast forward the video uh, through it so you don't have to sit and watch it. All right, we're back in Lightroom. Uh, this is the DNG image with the enhanced details. And let's zoom in over here and look at the details. And we'll go back to our Capture One image. And I'll zoom in there and we'll look at the details there. And to me, um, the Capture One image still is uh, considerably better as far as detail is concerned. Let's go back to the original image. And see if the enhanced details is even noticeable between the two Lightroom images. So there's the original image, and there's this image, the DNG image. And um, it, I can't tell the difference. Maybe just a tiny bit, but it isn't uh, drastic enough uh, to even make, you know, a run to being as good as the Capture One image was. So that's my heavy-handed analysis and comparison between the two applications. I make no claims that this is scientific, uh, quantitative, even qualitative. It's just my uh, best way to try to demonstrate the differences between the process engines of the two applications. I'm interested to hear your opinions of which one you thought was better, which one you liked better, which one you use, anything, any comment at all you have about the two different applications. And um, my methodology, I, again, don't claim to be perfect. Um, if I ever figure out a better way to do this, I'll do a video in the future on it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>